Okay. Looks like I'll need more augmentations. You'll be fine. Don't worry. Okay, Tess. Let's try. Let's try not missing. It's literally point. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Thank you. It's literally point blank. I was gonna say if you could, if you missed that, we were gonna have issues. Good dodge. Nobody escapes. Can I kill it? Finished. Yes, finished. All right, Heinrich. Uh, let's go here. I need a foothold. Can you get back here? <gasps> they left. I forgot. I thought they were let's still behind there. Um, can you hit them with? Is that bad? More trouble than it's worth. Can you? Can you hit him at all? Not sanctioned to do this. Why can't you be sanctioned I won't to do it? to it? Okay. Tass, this one. Actually, you know what? This. All too easy. This. 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 Right. Now this. Already done. Now let's do this first. I'll bring glory to my bloodline. Okay, you bring glory to your bloodline, girlfriend. <laughs> done. Now this. <laughs> now she still got. Strike. She still got one shot Not left. A problem for me. You stand done. Chance. Okay. Now disarm the boarding device. Okay. Let's disarm it. Okay, I gotta go disarm it. Okay, so we already read this, so we're not going to do this again. Like, I'm not gonna read through this. Um, uh, we did that, we did that. You're set, no. Yes, okay, and then, I don't know what happened. Uh, it seems you're not, you're, you're injured. You should be taken to the infirmary. Iconoclast. I still think that that was the best one. Contact Foxmaster. Okay. Now. I did fine. Diffuse Never it. Never doubt me. Yes. Okay. Yay! We diffused it, y'all. <laughs> uh, Something for of the best. interest. Collect all. What are you? Okay. Let's get everything from everybody. Okay. Whew. So we did it. We disarmed. It's about time. We disarmed the bomb. Everybody should be a whole heck of a lot safer. Uh, oh, there are goods here. Good. One and it's done. Thank you. Anything? I won't tolerate weakness. Wait, are there goods here? Oh, what is? Okay this perfect anything else nope anything up here all right we had this whole oh, i guess we could have like was it supposed to be like you could have snuck oh wait so if you wanted to you could have cut off the power that okay so if you're curious we could have problem for you we could have just done this, right? Is this None it? Shall stand in my and then way. if we had cut off the power, would that have cut off the power? Probably. So that's probably what we could have done. What happens if I cut off the power now? I rise to the occasion. Yeah. So that's what would have happened, I think. Oh, well, we didn't get one of these guys, so we'll get this now. But that's, that's probably the easiest way to do it. And then you would have been right here and you never would have started the fight in the first place. Or you would have later, but not quite the same way. Okay. The Inquisition taught me many things. It taught I'll you how to jump to over big, big areas very athletically. I'm very happy for you in that. That's a good skill to have. Okay, so now we know. Oh, I can't believe I did it that way. That's all right. That's what first playthroughs are for, though. <laughs> like, literally, though, that is what first playthroughs are for, is like, messing up certain things and then being super efficient the second third fourth however many subsequent times you do it down the road that's just really funny though when like um what is it that fight on our first planet yanis 
with the governor and stuff downstairs when you realize like oh all you had to do was kill the the person summoning all the demons or demons and you would have been fine and not need to fight nearly as much like that's yeah do you want to say anything you have my complete attention <sighs> i love this man so well done so now it's what back to dargonis i had read hold on i did read that this pretty much starts the end of chapter two going back to dargonis so we need to have finished this what after this but i don't have access to kiava gamma right hold on i'm just quickly reading uh okay under oh okay so hmm yeah so apparently though hey this this quest here that i really wanted to find the end to and all this stuff like so what is huh oops uh, and return to our goddess immediately to regroup. I wonder if I did do this too early now. But how can you get to Kiava Gamma? Let me see. Unless Kiava Gamma is technically chapter three, which it very, that very well could be. And like, uh, urgent message. Our astropaths received numerous transmissions. These are, aren't ordinary. Okay. It's reporting massive Xenos raids. Master Zachary is struggling to determine what exactly the invasion began, but all signs point to it happening shortly after your departure to... Okay. Greatly suffer. Your people are begging for immediate aid. So we have, like, no choice. It's time to go home. I wonder how many jumps I have. Like, I can't really make the jump in any less than one, two, three. So we'll have to hope that three jumps is okay. Okay. So let's get to Dargonus. By the way, disregard anything I was worried about, about not being able to make it to Kiava Gamma. One walkthrough I had read had said that basically once you do this, it's the end of chapter two. But then other people have mentioned like, no, 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 you still can go do whatever you want. This is we're basically about to end the Dargonis um, storyline. So that's fine with me. And then I think I was reading Kiava Gamma is like I down or like it's like out this way. Um, something like that, like something like I want to say it's like out here and we basically need to get to like I either have it and I don't know it on my map yet or I need to get to like one of these places and then like explore so going to Dargonis next finishing up this and then kind of working my way back down and around would make sense for that um but here's hoping we can make it in two jumps technically right oh no what happened Wait, we're going to the bridge? I was headed to... Let's see. Mm -hmm. Cause I shouldn't have auto done anything. Uh, instead of admiring themselves, the monkey should direct their gaze towards the world around them more often. Um, where did we get this? Okay. Wait, am I getting trophies for all the things that I've done? Is there somebody in here? You're in my room. Hello. Taking careful steps almost without sound, Yerlet examines the study's interior, raising her brow in surprise and muttering something to herself in the Aldari tongue. Um, what a pleasant surprise. I had no idea this was your dwelling until I entered. The Aldari turns her emerald gaze on you. It seems she's completely unfazed by your sudden appearance. On my craft world, we all held to a simple custom. You may set your foot wherever your path requires. Sacred ground was the only exception to this rule. Is there something sacred in this room, Ellen Talk? Yerlet looks around the room. I do not think so. Um. 
I'm somewhat surprised, but I'm not opposed to such a visit. You may come here anytime you like. If you truly did not come with nefarious intent, simply apologize. Um, how did you manage to slip past the enforcers? I know I avoid your kin and their obsessive... You know I avoid your kin and their obsessive attention. It was fairly easy to distract a couple of monkey and slip past. Meeting your eyes, you're let nods and understanding. I suppose this is not pleasant news to hear. Um, I am somewhat surprised, but I'm not opposed to you visiting. She tilts her head in confusion. Do I need permission to do so? But is your entire world contained within this tiny metal cage, Alan Talk? Your ship, these chambers, they're all but a speck of dust, an island, a temporary shelter in a world that is far bigger and more expansive than... Well, enough of that. Now that you are here, I wish to speak with you about our agreement. I have traveled through the veil many times inside your steel-winged bird, and every time her voice torments me, trying to drive me mad... Yerlet stares through, unconsciously touching the spirit stone in her chest with a trembling hand. Her whispers fill my ears each time I enter the warp, inescapable, incessant, poisoning, inflaming every single emotion thought and thought, making them uncontrollable. I have learned to shut myself off as best I can, just so I might have the chance to search for what I have lost. And we have managed to find some ch of the children of the crude arc, find and bear witness to their horrifying fate. I think that every step I take to discover the crude arc's fate brings nothing but doom to my brothers and sisters. And still, I ask you not to stop. With every cycle, though still hidden in the darkness of the cosmos, draw closer to their demise and obscurity. Out of all the monkey I have met, I thought that you, Ellen Talk, might be able to understand my pain. Um, I was not wrong to think so, was I? For a moment, a sad smile flickers on her face and her voice rings with agonizing doubt. No matter what, you tried to keep your promise, even if your species loves to stamp out any form of life they find undesirable. I remember our agreement and will fulfill it just as I promised. She gives you a barely visible nod. Her face is clouded with emotion, but you cannot read her expression. Your words, Ellen Talk, they are something that still give me hope. Her words are interrupted by a strange sound similar to a stifled sigh. Her gaze strained upon something past you. Turning around, you see what has caught her attention. An odd, unsightly shard of porous material mounted on the wall like a trophy. An entire kaleidoscope of emotion plays across her face, changing too quickly to catch. She sighs once more, and then her feelings are concealed behind an impenetrable, impersonal mask. What is this monkey? We'll try it. Oh, we succeeded. The strange shard has been here since at least the day of your ascension to Rogue Trader Throne. Looking closely, an odd thought nags at your mind. It may be disfigured and corroded but some unknown by some unknown power, but it vaguely resembles a wraith bone, a material crafted by the Eldari. Um, is it a piece of something Eldari? So you do not even care enough to know what objects adorn your dwelling, truly. Yerla lets out a thin, sorrowful sound that cuts herself short, going as still as a statue. Enough, I have lingered here for too long. From now on, I will avoid entering places you would prefer to keep hidden from me. Ah, could have gone better. Could have gone worse. Definitely could have gone better. Any quick, any companion stuff? You have my complete attention. That I double check that anybody hadn't just so I could hear him say, maybe listen, y'all. All right. It's fine. Mm-hmm. All right. Now. Wait, quick save. Warp travel. One, two. Technically, it's three. No! Uh... During the warp voyage, the middle decks reported strange gatherings that were attracting dozens of officers. An investigation quickly bore fruit. One of the acolytes from the auger deck has proclaimed himself a prophet and is rambling about purification by the blessed fire. Only the perilous influence of the warp can explain the strange convictions and uncanny zeal of this person. Mm. Dispose of the newly emerged prophet and ban the cult. Yay! The mysterious disappearance of the prophet and more frequent inspections of decks and living quarters quickly put an end to the growing popularity of the sect. After a few days, the people who visited the gatherings prefer to simply put the episode behind them. All right, here we go. We're home now. Good. No, I don't have time for you, Immaterium. During the warp journey, journey, the augurs discovered a strange object that had been following the rogue trader's void ship for several hours. Judging by the distorted telemetry, it was a strangely shaped vessel of Xeno origin. The unidentified pursuer tried to approach the void ship several times, allowing the augur to observe the shimmering energy sails unfurled among the shifting currents of the warp. A strange chase ended after the mysterious ship vanished into the depths of the Sea of Souls. All right, in we go. Did we make it? I think we made it. Okay. We're on big save. 
Big, big save. <sighs> Y'all, if if Marzai wanted to visit my planet, he just had to ask. Like, we didn't have to do it this way. We could have just been like, hey, Tess, can I come over and visit? And Tess would have been like, sure, yeah, you can come over. We can hang out. We can have tea or something like that. But like, no, you have to attack my planet. Uh, it makes Tess very, very, very cranky. Because it's hers, you know? It doesn't belong to anybody else. Well, I mean, technically, maybe. I can Auntie. see crimson lights in the void. Okay. Uh, let's see, what do I got? 60, 60, 60. Uh, 220! Oh my goodness. Good. Test 220. How far? Okay. Do it. And then come here and hit. You. What do you mean that's gonna be too far? Test. Come here. Really? That can't be. Dorsal. Oh my goodness. No. Um, and those guys, they're going to just come closer. Like, I'm just going to let them do whatever they want. Pop you down. Uh, this. Mm hmm. Okay. Immortality denied is here. Okay. Let's see this. Good. Come to me. All right, dark mirror light cruiser. Let's roll. Let's roll, bitches. Where are you going? Wait, I, oh, and then there are uh, torpedoes. Don't go too far. Don't go too far. I get lonely. No. Okay. My torpedo. Mm -hmm. How much damage did I do? Oh, goodness. Uh, almost dorsal. Tess, when did you get that good at that? Uh, and then this. Hit it. Make it, make it hurt. Uh, do that. Okay. Gone. Uh, what is, can I ram that? Yeah. Can you? Oh, that's just to get me a step closer. Oh. Mm -hmm. If I do this. Yeah, do that. Okay, good. Let's see what happens next. Mm -hmm. All right, Viper class destroyer coming in. Are you gonna hit anybody or are you gonna play with them? Okay, like I thought, just play with them. You're gonna come in, hit me, and move. Immortality! You keep getting denied. Okay. Dark light cruiser. Don't go too far. We have the same trajectory though, unless you can do a 45 degree turn. We should be able to take him out. Yeah, he won't be hard. I don't think he'll be hard to get. Okay. You. If I put you... Well, hold on. No. No, hold me. But if I do... Nope, not that either. This, there. Oh, wow. Can I put you here for a second? This. Let's do... Is it gone? Almost. If I put you here... Yes, do it. None will lament their demise. Nope. 
No, they will not. Let's put you here so that way you can do a turn later. I don't think you got... Oh, that sun is bright. Nah, but we'll put these down for now. I'll put you there. Good. Can you reach him? No. Close, though. Okay. This Viper class destroyer has literally done, I think, nothing. But I mean, it, it's keeping him busy. Okay. You? I like that they're both turning around like this, though. That should be really helpful. Okay. Now. If I go here. Oh, wait, that's my. Those are my torpedoes. Okay. I thought that was my ship for a second. There we go. Got it in one. Uh, if I do that. Yeah, do that. Do I, I assume I still. Do I still have to get rid of the bomb like this? I guess so. Um. Oh, no, because I'm out of moves. It doesn't. Ah, oh, crud. I wasted that. That's okay. We should be able to get this thing in the next run. Or somebody should. Like you. Can you get over there? No. Where are you going? Okay. You just, just shoot it. You should You should be able to hit it from like. You're like next to it. Is all this... Uh, wait, is all this ship can do just drop off missiles? Okay. No. Dorsal? Okay. Um. Dun dun. If I do that, that's just like... If... What if I do it here? No. Mm -hmm. Okay, this... Oh, this will hit right now, though. Oh, once I move it, it will, rather. No one Done. can outmaneuver House or Celia. We did it. These are actually more fun than I was anticipating, so... That was really good. Let's see. Um... Uh, reloads macro cannons that were fired during acceleration phase. Ooh. F focused effort. Both abilities for one. Mm, arc augury. Or flag jump makes a shallow warp jump in a forward direction. Mm. No, let's do this one. Oh, I can pick two. We'll do these two. Okay. Wait. Is that three ranks available? Oh, um, yeah, we'll do this. And all hands on deck. Flagship torpedo tubes are loaded with three instead of one. Oh, oh. Boarding party launches a boarding party to infill. No, let's do this. Wait, how many levels am I getting? Oh, my goodness. Uh, both abilities or warp wave? No, let's do that. Uh, improved RAM, rugged repair. When approaching an enemy, the flagship shuts down on essential systems, starts to drift unnoticed past the enemy ships. As a result, most encounters large enemy vessels are surprised and act later. Uh, rugged repair. Sanctified re restart shields now inflicts negative two speed reduction and no firing range penalty. Take it all. Flagship now collects 10 plus more scrap. Oh, you know what? Let's do... Hmm... I'll see where I get repair for right now. Okay. Well, that went well. Your ship is right. We did that. Okay. We did it. I'm, 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 pr I'm, I'm like, I'm happy that fight went down as well as it did. So let's do. Okay. 
Is this... Okay. Yes. Oh, no! No, 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 no! What is this? What is this? What did they do to my planet? Oh, goodness. Y'all, this is not good. This is not good at all. Let's quickly level you up. Um. Redeployment. Every time combat tactic area is affected by all allies, um, or adjusting front lines. Let's do personal zone. Okay. Okay. Is that. Yes. Clementia! Let's chat. Let's chat about this, girl. 